Team will hit you with something at some point before you kill him, and then he's going to be sitting on that ore and rage for the next game. Speaking of, we're going to game one, uh, I think first game, or yeah. second game of Loser's yeah. Top 6. This is uh, Loser's Quarters, uh, second game, and it is best of three, Vania and Mr. E. Didn't they, didn't, weren't these two in Grants last week? Ah, uh, they, they very well have been. <laughs> it's crazy to think, right? Crazy. Like I was talking about, there are a lot of people who are really turning up at Zeno here. Like, there is a lot of stuff going on. Um, these two are very strong contenders, though, so it's hard to say. Like, they fought each other very, very many yeah. times. So, I, I would say, um, a lot of what defines this matchup, right, is if you ask Vanya, he will tell you, and I don't know if his mindset has changed because this was a while back, but you can see it in his play. Uh, if I'm Greninja, why would I bother shielding when I can move? He is very much about the movement. Um, and Mr. E kind of shuts I mean, that down with that sort of his. Yeah. Yes. That, that down air two frame is pretty... Uh Pretty good. Pretty strong. It's pretty strong. To say the, the pits least. look but on to... with jealousy in their eyes. <laughs> <laughs> but to, to go back on what you're saying, uh, one of the, the Greninja's easiest strength, and what a lot of characters are starting to figure out, is that their biggest strength is moving around instead of holding shield. So while shield may not be like a bad option, like dashing forward and shielding, forcing misspacing. <laughs> You can also force that same miss spacing and get around it and get a harder punish if you decide to short hop away. If you decide yes. to empty hop back or empty hop above something, like it's there's a lot more mo there's a lot more motivation to try and move in this game. And particularly in Greninja's case, his out of shield options is effectively just jump. Yes. <laughs> and here's the thing, right? Is what I was going to talk about is Mr. E's movement speed in the air, although not bad is nothing compared to Greninja's. And yeah. I like seeing a lot of those water shurikens there because it forces Mr. E to deal at a range that he cannot enforce a hitbox with his sword. Um, having a disjoint against um, Greninja is a really big deal. In, I mean, in general, I think. Having a disjoint is usually a boon in this game. Yeah, having, yeah. A, disjoint, having a sword makes you a high tier. So. Well, are there any swordsmen who aren't high tier? The lowest I can that is more consensusly agreed upon. Does Ganondorf count? No. Oh, okay, that's what I thought. <laughs> I bet the lowest you can probably make a consistent argument for is probably Corrin, and even then, Corrin has like some. Corrin is very functional. Corrin is very functional and very strong. Yes. Maybe, uh, not, maybe not like she's she's about as strong as her Smash Four counterpart, which is strong, but everyone else got like this power boon, and she kind of yes. got she kind of stayed the same. Yes, that's per That's a very fair point. Um, oh. No, but speaking of, that's not to say that um, Venya and Greninja don't have a lot of tricks. They do have a little bit of a disjoint of their own. Forward air is very nice. Uh, the smashes are very good. But we typically see those smashes on chases on platforms, and we're not going to see much of that here on FD. Yeah. Um, it's I, interesting. I would always consider, or I was always been like been told and been like kind of shown that FD is Greninja's best stage. <laughs> since it allows him so much space to move, so much air, air space to, to kind of fly around. He's able to run circles around your opponent, even without these platforms, while they're ducking under them as they jump, or going over them as they as they sit on the ground, mm -hmm. and swing with his, just, and swing with kind of his safe pokes and like decent distracts. Yes. And he, do, he does poke very well. That's the thing, is that he can play a close to fair mid-ranged game. Uh, if he wants to, and all of that is fairly functional against Lucina, even if he doesn't do super well against the Destroyers. But it feels like Mr. E is a kind of adopting the play style, and I saw this against Zamba, I saw this against... Uh, oh, is he dead? He's dead. Oh, wow, he's dead. Uh, who else did he play? Did he play Bonkai? Who, who did put Mr. Who did Mr. E play? Oh, uh, that's a solid question. Uh, you yeah. saw this against Jan a bit as well. He's kind of adopted an interesting play style that it'll kind of describe as a moving fortress. Mm -hmm. Like he's kind of dashing back and forth. He's holding shield. He's putting you in a position where you're gonna come to him, and yes. he's gonna react to your option with something that, with one of Lucina's many just great situational happen. Let me let me add on that also with. Not only is it moving Fortress, but he plays very much like a traditional 2D fighter where he's pushing you to the corner because he has the ability yeah. to do that with the disjoints. Um, and it's very interesting to see. Uh, he can't always enforce it, especially when he's playing up against a player like Benny, who is very mobile and hard to keep down. But uh, you will see a lot of active hitboxes that are surprisingly low on risk. 
Um, and stray hits are just as much of a benefit to Lucina because then he gets to move in. He takes a little bit more stage and there's a little bit less maneuverability for his opponent while he gets to run circles in that, you know, uh, weird mid-range where you just sort of have to wait. Wait and try to react or wait and guess. Mm -hmm. Nearly killed Rogue. Yeah, Rogue. calling out the Nair on Chip. He's kind of, he's kind of, uh, more akin to that two, traditional 2D style of fighting. Mm -hmm. Anytime he is kind of pushed against, he's dragon punching. He's yes. up being out of shield. <laughs> he, he's narrowing out of shield. He's Some, pushing He's pushing you away. Just do it, as Nike would say. Sometimes you just gotta do it. Follow the law of Geoban. Press it, and if it works, it's not stupid. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So that was a real unsafe forward air right there. It looked like he was trying to go for a punish, but you can't land right on your Lucina shield like that. Yeah. That's. Now, to be fair, the same can be said for Lucina if she doesn't make a hit work. But you have the wall cling. Yeah. That's Dropping from ledge to wall cling, and he's got the third highest jump height? Yeah. Actually, I don't think even Lucina's down to hit that. I feel like no. we would have seen E try if it could. Yeah, he was low enough from the ledge where it wouldn't hit. That's kind of that's kind of why you pick uh, Unova. You don't want a big stage like Kalos, but you don't want, but you do want walls. Yes. Oh, okay. Pairs. Nice. Tried to look for the jump on that one, which would have put him in a very dangerous situation. Doesn't scope it out. Waiting. Yeah, he re, he re ledge. Yes, he re -grabbed. It looked like he wanted to drop down again to wall cling, but he missed it. Yeah, he didn't have the time. Mystery was on top of him. And now we're seeing uh, yeah, a got really strong hit. runaway with Mystery right now. Like, this is hard work for Venny to come back from. All right, that was a really well spaced pair. Venia is. I mean, his kind of his kind of central game plan right here is you know, like you, if nice. you at the, if you or you at home couldn't see it, like he's landing with these aerials, like he's going to come when he will, he'll dash around, but when he's landing, like when he's landing aggressively, he's doing it a lot and frequently. He's yes. trying to apply a lot of shield pressure, which is kind of where like it's kind of what makes Lucina so good in this game is that she can get out of shield pressure really effectively. So now, now nice we see a, chase. We see a little bit of a string going on here. Yep. All right. Tried to chase on the neutral get up there. No fruits of that labor, but it wasn't a bad idea. Sometimes all you need is a little bit of fear. And we see Mr. E just threatening this whole sprays around the ledge, but Venya straight over it. See, now before, when he was fishing for that fair uh, because he wanted the stage control, you'll still see him going for it now because he can't be scared off of his tools, but he is starting to climb in percent. And it's going to get riskier and riskier to go for these options as he gets knocked further off stage, and he has to work harder just to come back to the control. All right, patient. Good there. Ooh, that's not the kind of hit you want to take right now. All right. Yeah, he's good. Bay. The Very nice. The problem with that wall cling is that, yes, it gives you access to all of your aerial tools and your giant jump height. Oh, shoot. What happened? Oh, no. Uh, Something got bumped. Yeah, I think they may have just unplugged it. That was definitely not a rage quit. Yeah, they oh, they, they yeah. seem pretty, pretty calm. Yeah. Uh, I lost my train of thought. Uh, the wall cling, right. Yes. Uh, so the wall cling is a, re is a really solid mix-up since it allows you all of your aerials and allows you access to your airspeed and your jump height, which is great. The problem is he was doing it pretty frequently that set, and what, what else is he gonna do? But like he's gonna either jump air dodge or jump and challenge, and yeah. Lucina kinda has like back air, if you air dodge it, a fair. So back air, so I beat your I beat your back air. 